Hey, what's up, everyone? Dr. Anthony Mattis. I wanted to talk to you today about the money control and creativity bars. So, you know, when I got to access, when I came first came to access about nine years ago from the time I'm making this video, almost nine, way late. No, oh my God, it's 10 years ago. It'll be 10 years ago in January. So today is October 19th, 2021. So January was my first bars class in 2012. So I'm going on 10 years. Oh my gosh, it's gone so fast. And it's been such an amazing journey. But uh, bars was the first place that I started as, as you know, as most of you all know, some of you maybe started with, with being you classes, but, uh, but the bars is where I started and took my kids and my life just started changing dynamically. And uh, I mean, I really have no words. And I'll tell you what, you've heard me say before in, in different videos where, you know, at first I wasn't really sure if it was for me, but my kids absolutely loved it. And just, just the ease it created in their world, especially after, you know, you know, losing their mother and all of that stuff <clears throat> created so much ease. I've lost my voice. Um, for them, you know, for me, that was worth its price in gold. It was better than any psychotherapy session that I had taken them to because, you know, their mother decided to commit suicide and it was um, not a very fun time. But, but in receiving these bars, like the kids would laugh and giggle and sleep. I mean, it's like... <laughs> What more do you want? And then got to have a lot of treats and candy and snacks afterwards. But money control and creativity. For me, it took me a while. I was a bit stubborn. Uh, but I could never forget my third bars class completely rocked my world. And that's when I actually got that there was something profoundly powerful <laughs> about, about these tools. And I just knew I needed to keep going. Here I am almost 10 years later. So it's a miracle. But so money control creativity. So up until that point, money's always been sort of this elusive <laughs> something. I don't even know what you want to call it. It was just never something that was easy for me. You know, I worked my ass off just to make, make a me mediocre living. You know, I incurred a lot of debt as a chiropractor, becoming a chiropractor, you know, six figure debt. <clears throat> that wasn't fun. I started to practice from scratch coming out of chiropractic school and that probably wasn't my brightest move. And, and I think I took a vow of poverty somewhere along the lines. And so when I got to access, I'm like, man, I'm tired of being poor. We're just getting by. This isn't fun because, you know, I feel like my skills weren't, <clears throat> weren't equating to what amount of money was coming in. So, <clears throat> so what I love about the money control and creativity bars points, they kind of all go together is, you know, with regards to money, it, it deals with all your points of view you have about money, making it and not making it. In my early days, when I was younger, I took great pride in being that poor college student healer, <laughs> you know, like somehow it made me a more powerful healer if I was poor, which, uh, man, look at that message from God. <laughs> um, that was my phone. Anyway, but, you know, it was like, man, it was like, where the hell did I get that point of view from, you know, or it's got to be about blood, sweat and tears. And so what started to actually happen is between running that bars point and get my bars ran on a regular basis and reading the how to become money workbook and money's not the problem you are. And God knows I read a shit ton of money books and I've been to money seminars, nothing would change. And all of a sudden, you know, again, the bars is about receiving right? If you can't receive, money's not going to come to you. Um, money started showing up in the weirdest ways. I mean, I couldn't even have predicted it. And it wasn't because my chiropractic practice, like I started seeing more patients. In fact, my patient numbers were actually going down <laughs> the more access I was doing, but my access business was growing. And then eventually I closed my practice, but money started exploding in all different ways. It just wasn't in the way that I thought which leads me into the next bars point, control. Control is not no, learning how to be in control or you know, holding that bars point so you could be in more control. It's actually the opposite. It's actually being out of control, out of form and structure, out of linearity, out of concentricities and out of definition because I am a control freak of magnitude. I still am, but I know when I'm doing it <laughs> and I know when I'm doing it when it's, it doesn't create. 
it actually strangles a creation, okay? Which is another bar's point, creativity. So, um, but what was really cool about the control was like, you know, when you get in your bars or in some, no matter how much some of you may try to resist it, after a while, you're like, blah, 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 blah. my one son who is hyper as hell, hyper as hell, he would talk the whole time. And by the time they got to kindness, gratitude, peace, and calm, he'd be like slurring his words and he would be passing out. I'm like, I'm coming back for that. So we'll talk more about kindness, gratitude, peace, and calm because later, but I have so many great stories about that one. But so money and control, it's like, it's like if you can receive more money and bars is about getting learn one of the things is about getting us to learn how to receive how much more money could you actually receive just from getting your bars ran and how much more money could you receive by simply being out of control and that's what i love about the tools of access because it's about being in the question so i would actually use these clearings every day these money clearings every day and I would just sort of like forget about it, to be honest with you. I'd forget about it and let the universe rearrange itself so that these things can actualize. You know, and I was still doing the generating, creating, and instituting. I was doing my part. But as long as I was in the question, as long as I was out of control and didn't have a point of view about where or how or when the money, where it was going to come from, how was it going to show up, or when it was going to show up, it would just show up. And it's like, oh, my God, what? like whoa like whoa <laughs> so and then you have creativity you know i always had a strong point of view that that i'm not the most creative person on the planet you know it's like you give me an idea i'll run with it but i've never been one to like come up with the idea you know so i was always part of myself so i would like sometimes get stuck in sort of like a rut you know and just stay on that same hamster wheel forever until someone comes along and gives me a better idea you know i'm willing to change it's just that, you know, it's like, what would it take for me to be more creative? And it was weird. It was like, just my creativity started getting off, like starting, started to just go off the charts. It's, you know, I wasn't just a chiropractor anymore. I was like an access conscious facilitator. I was like a landlord. I was renting out my office to an acupuncturist and a massage therapist. I was having income coming in, in all different directions. And I was growing my access consciousness business. And then a whole new thing showed up that I had no plans on creating at all, but it just showed up. And that's the amazing ASB sessions that I do, which stands for Anthony Synthesis of Being. And that's a, a term that my very good friend, Dr. Dane here, who created ESB, Energetic Synthesis of Being, uh, calls the energetic sessions that I do. And you get to learn all that amazing stuff in the symphony of possibility. So, so I, you know, I love all the bars points, you know, I get excited about talking about each of these ones, you know, specifically and, and please don't, don't misunderstand me. Okay. Cause I don't want you to be like, if I have this bar point ran, this is going to show up. No, you can't think of it that way. Like at all. All I'm saying is all those bars <laughs> points. I got amazing results in all those different areas or bars and all the different things that they actually represent. And you can't have any expectations, but trust that if you're in the question and you're willing to receive, these things will actualize for you. And it's not even about believing it. That's the funny part. Because I was like, I don't know, but, you know, I spent so much money on other modalities and they never worked. I don't know about this one. Like I said, I just was going for, for the kids at first. And my, then my life started changing. I was like, I can't deny the results. So don't have the point of view that, you know, if you get your money bar ran on a regular basis, you just definitely make money tomorrow. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. There's other things, you know, you can't just sit on your ass and hope and dream, which is also some bars points. Okay. And we'll talk about that. All right. You have to generate, create an institute, you know, but the universe will have your back and those bar points creates the space for you to receive more and beyond any of those blocks and limitations that you've been struggling from. All right. And that have been holding you back. And no matter what you did, you weren't able to change it. That was my story. That was my life. No matter what I did, I couldn't change it until I started using these tools getting my bars ran on a regular basis and 10 years later 
even though that's the first place you start, it is not an entry, uh, beginner introduction, low level technique. That's just the first place you start. I'm still getting my bars around on a regular basis. And so is the founder, Gary Douglas of Access Consciousness and creator of the bars and <laughs> all this other stuff. And the co-creator of Access Consciousness, Dr. Dane here, they get their bars around on a regular basis. So there is no like arriving on the top of the mountain. You've reached cosmic consciousness. No, you, you could have cosmic consciousness, absolutely. But you keep going. You keep going because at the very least, it's a great way to like defrag the brain and just relax your body and your being. And uh, best case scenario, your life will change big time. So, all right, thanks for listening. And I hope to see you in person someday soon. Bye for now.